Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Esperanza. And today I'd like to uh, I'll make a presentation of the fire resistance of polymer modified cement mortar for RC structures. It is a great honor for me to make uh, this kind of presentation in the RIDEM Spring Convention. So, anyway, the you have already known that uh, the uh, reinforced concrete structure uh, is deteriorated due to the heavy corrosion, like this uh, photograph. The <coughs> it is uh, because of the carbonation and the chloride induced corrosion of the reinforcing steel bar. In these cases, the usually the polymer modified cement mortar are used for the patching work or the repair uh, because the bonding properties of the polymer cement mortar uh, is better than the ordinary cement mortar. But <coughs> the, in the, under the fire, Polymer is combustible. What happened? The, you can easily imagine the polymer can ignite it, can be ignited uh, under the high temperature, and uh, the void increase, the vapor. Uh, of the water also increase. Now what happened in the structural behavior of the uh, such repaired uh, reinforced concrete beams or columns? Sporing can uh, take place or sporing can reduce. So we are not sure. So the today's topic is the reaction of the polymer cement mortar and the high temperature and mechanical properties of polymer cement mortar exposed to high temperature and the sporing behavior of polymer cement mortar and the fire and then the structural behavior of such uh, RC members repaired with the PCM. So reaction of the PCM and the high temperature. Polymer films are formed depending on the polymer type. You can see the uh, several types of the polymer is used for the uh, polymer cement mortar and the different kind of the uh, films are formed. Regarding the combustibility, uh, conventional test method, uh, such as a cone calorimeter test, are conducted for the combustibility of the polymer cement model town. The result is shown here. The heat release rate and the total heat are changed depending on the polymer type and the thickness of the polymer and also the content of the polymer. If the polymer is ignited, the heat release rate, of course, it increased. But this graph shows the heat release rate is depending on the thickness of the polymer cement mortar. The I have already mentioned the cover concrete is patched uh, for the repair works. So it means uh, cover depths, cover concrete, the depth of the cover concrete is thicker. The, you can see the, the, from this figure, you can understand that the heat release rate is smaller than the thinner. Uh, a polymer cement mortar, but it is depending on the uh, it is depending on the um, test method, cone calorimeter test. In the 
practical case, the probably it's different behave, behavior will happen. And also that we measured the uh, changes of the weight and uh, heat release rate. It has a uh, uh, relationship around 400 degrees Celsius. The polymer ignited and uh, uh, heat release rate increased. It is in the case of the uh, PAE. Uh, and also the uh, polymer uh, is under 200 degrees Celsius or 400 degrees Celsius, the pore uh, can be uh, <coughs> ignited and also the uh, pore volume of the polymer cement mortar increased. It depends on the uh, content of the polymer also. What kind of gas is generated? Normally the carbon dioxide, also uh, methane also uh, generated in this uh, EVA polymer. And how much the gas pressure is? So in this case, we measured by using the, this kind of pipe embedded in the mortar. The gas pressure mostly is due to the uh, water evaporation, not due to the uh, polymer gas evaporation. Because you can see here, the polymer content is uh, nothing, zero. In that case, the pressure is much higher than the uh, polymer used. And in this uh, EVA polymer, the content increase, the pressure decrease. So it means the Sporing, explosive sporing does not take place in this uh, EVA polymer. But it depends on the type of the polymer. Here, the this case, the sporing, uh, usually the concrete, the sporing take place around 200 and 300 degrees Celsius. The polymer uh, has uh, to make a void increase. In that case, the possibility of the sporing decrease. But here, the gas generation from the polymer increase here. So the I can uh, support the if the gas generation rate is lower than the polymer pore volume increase rate, the gas can move to the surface and uh, it is emitted to the air, no sporing. But the gas pressure is higher than the uh, speed is higher than the pore volume increase. The gas remains in the polymer cement mortar, it causes a sporing. So the, you can see this photograph. The polymer content increase and uh, around 400 degrees Celsius. This uh, mortar, after the test, the color is changed to the somewhat black, it means uh, carbon is remained in the uh, pore. Sometimes it causes the pressure 
increase around 400 degrees Celsius, causing the uh, sp explosive sporing. Then we conducted a uh, test for the mechanical properties of polymer cement mortar and the high temperature. Comparing to the normal mortar, the strength reaction under high temperature is much uh, bigger. So around 200 degrees Celsius, polymer evaporated and the pore volume would increase, the strength reduce. Also, the elastic modulus decrease, but the decreasing rate comparing to the normal mortar is almost the same. And also, the, we would like to know the behavior of the structure uh, performance of the column or beam. We measured the bonding strengths between the polymer cement mortar and uh, uh, concrete, original concrete, because the, the integrity of the such two kind of the uh, polymer cement mortar and the concrete should be integrated uh, under the fire also. So in this case, it depends on the polymer type. Uh, VVA and uh, EVA, two cases, around 200 degrees Celsius, the bonding strength between two materials decrease oh, significantly. And also we tested the polymer cement uh, strengths between the polymer cement mortar and uh, the reinforcing steel bar to know the structural behavior of the concrete structures. So the, these decrease uh, will take place over 200 degrees Celsius. So this information are uh, very important uh, to analyze the structure behavior of the uh, re repaired structure uh, component. And also, the, we have to know the heat conductivity of the polymer cement mortar and the fire. I mentioned the pore increase and the fire in the polymer cement mortar. It causes the heat conductivity increase. So the, we measure the temperature uh, by some couple embedded in the concrete beam and the heated sub from the heated surface, the this graph shows the temperature in, on the reinforcing steel bar. In the normal concrete, uh, it reached the 500, but uh, in the case of the polymer cement mortar, uh, it decreased a little. So the it is because of the uh, pore volume increase of the cement polymer cement mortar, but. The, if the sporing take place, the reinforcing steel bar exposed to the fire. So to uh, evaluate the sporing possibility of the polymer cement mortar, we conducted a simplified test by using the uh, small specimen and the electric furnace. So we increased the temperature uh, by 200 degrees Celsius and 20 minutes uh, keeping. The, this is a, a result. The, this is the sporting uh, behavior in the reinforced concrete members repaired with polymer cement mortar. And this is a result of the, this simplified test yeah, a little bit different. 
between those tests, but uh, uh, we can uh, estimate the sporting behavior and the cracking uh, will take place in the members by using the, this simplified test. And then how to uh, prevent the sporting of the PCM. This kind of the wire mesh is attached because the, if the polymer cement mortar is uh, on the concrete surface, the heat conductivity decreased, the reinforcing steel bar, the temperature uh, is kept under, I, I'm not sure, the 400, 300 degrees Celsius. So the, this kind of the uh, mesh wired uh, attached by using the anchor bolt to the original concrete and then the polymer cement mortar is sprayed or uh, attached. Okay, so the finally, I like to show the structural behavior of RC members repaired with the PCM. We conduct it uh, these beam tests under fire according to the ISO or heating temperature increase. The, this part are repaired with PCM. This is the uh, result. So you can see the almost the same behavior, but the uh, stiffness uh, initial stiffness is slightly uh, lower than the original concrete uh, structures. And uh, this kind of activity, this kind of behavior can be uh, estimated by using the finite element analysis uh, through the uh, data input obtained by the uh, previous uh, research work on the uh, strength reduction, uh, elastic modulus reduction, and bonding uh, between the uh, concrete and the polymer cement mortar and the reinforcing steel bar and polymer cement mortar. Those information are the input data of this finite element analysis where we can estimate the behavior. So the, this is uh, all information we conducted and uh, now the in RIRM, uh, TC255 FRS uh, were established in 2013, and we are uh, drafting the state of that report, including the uh, microstructure and properties of PCM, properties of PCM under fire, and sporting behavior, and the structural behavior of such RC members and test method, what kind of test method is appropriate for the PCM. And also we are conducting the round robin test. And uh, after these works, the, we will uh, propose a recommendation. What kind of polymer is appropriate for what uh, scope, what, what kind of scope of the polymer application. And uh, next year, in Nanjing, Rylam Week, we will be held. So I would like to present uh, our activities. Okay, thank you for your kind attention.